Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can easily create this video. So that's a video I saw advertised to me, advertising some software, I think it was Adobe, and it's kind of like a three layer kind of image and each of the images kind of changes and then you see at the end, the bars reveal the full final image. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this exactly inside of Canva. So from the home page, you're gonna come over to videos and we're gonna click on mobile video, which is 1080 by 1920. So it's gonna give us that portrait size basically. Now we're inside of the template, we're gonna to want to set up our actual grids and things like that so that we can start dropping in videos. And it's easy to do this before you split up your clip because then it saves copying things over. So what we're gonna do, want to do first of all is to split this up into three layers. And the easiest way to do that is you can either calculate it and drop down the grid lines, but the easiest way I found to do that is to come over to elements drop in there three squares. So I'm gonna drop in one, I'm just gonna duplicate that over, two and then three. If I change the color of the middle one to be that one, and then the bottom one I'm gonna to change to be this color. And it can be any three colors you want. It's up to you whether you want these three colors at the beginning. I like to have them because it's you could have some text at the beginning or something like that, but we're gonna then just drag those down just like this. And that's gonna then give us our three layers. I need to go up a little bit on that top one. So there we go. We can now see that those actually fully cover. And then all we do is we just drag those across or drag the squares across. So that's our page divided up into three and we've got our three blocks there. Next, we're gonna need some really thick lines. Now I like to just use a line. You can come up over here just to choose the line. Come over to thickness. I like to use the line weight for this particular video template to be 40. And then we're just gonna come up and click on those up at the top. Now we need to make sure that those are kind of like in the middle of each of the frames. So where it overlaps or where, where they meet, you want half on each frame. If I zoom in a little bit here, you'll be able to see it. So if I zoom in here, you can see the line here the actual grid you see comes between the line here. And you can just, it automatically clicks in there. Now I'm gonna to want to do another line. So drag that down. You can see it does snap down to that. Change the thickness to line weight to be 40. So now we've got our lines on there. We've got our places where we want to start editing them. We need some music. I'm using Waving My White Flag from Epidemic Sound. So I'm just gonna click on that and that's gonna drag that onto the timeline. Now the part of the clip that I want is a little bit different. So I'm gonna click on the zoom page. I'm gonna zoom into my timeline here and I'm gonna want, this will be eventually, it's gonna be around about 10 seconds longer. So, and then I'll just double click on the audio and I'm gonna want it where it starts with the beats. So I'm gonna come in on a beat, and I can see the beats on this particular track really easily, because you can see where the wavelength comes in. What you can also do is once you click on the audio here, if you come up to Beat Sync, and you click Display Beat Markers, that's actually gonna put these white markers on here, so it's easy to see where you want those beat markers. Now, for this particular template, we're going to want 11 pages. So we've got seven video clips and 11 pages, and it'll come relevant to that, and I'll explain a bit more about that towards the end of the video. So now we've got our page set up exactly how we want it, but one thing we do need is we need to have the video or the grids to put our video in behind, and we want to be able to snap that in there. And that's make, it just makes it easier when we come in to add our videos into the frames later on. So we're gonna come up to elements. I'm gonna search for grid. And I'm gonna just type in and put in this square grid. Now it looks like it's not done anything. It's actually put that grid behind everything. So if you come up to the position menu up here, come up to layers, and I can now click and drag this grid up to the top, make this slightly smaller. And I want this to be the same size as the 
blocks of colour that we did. So we can see there it's kind of gone halfway in that line like I explained. And then we just duplicate that, bring that down. And to do this one we can even come to the arrange and come to position, centre and middle. And then just click duplicate on that one again. And then just put that one down at the bottom. Now we want these behind the blocks. So we want to make sure our lines are on top. So we're just coming over to the position and then to the layers panel. And then we're going to click and drag those blocks up to the top for the first part. So we're making sure that what we've got is we've got, if you think of it like a cake, we've got our lines on top, then we've got our blocks of colour, and then we've got our actual frames or our grid where we're going to actually house or put inside our video. So now we've got that in there, we want to come back and we want to start splitting this up for this particular template is 11 pages you can change that you can add more in there if you want to or you can add in less but for this one it works really well if we've got 11 pages now we will explain that once we've split them up how that's going to work a little bit more so with the audio selected we then just click and select the top layer now all we need to do is we need to just hit s on the keyboard or press s on the keyboard and that's going to split our frame so that you'll see that's going to split that there Alternatively, you can click on the three dots and click split the page. So if I come over to this one here, click on the three dots, you can see I've got split the page. But I just like to go along and click and then hit push S on the keyboard. So it helps if you've got the audio track selected first and then select the other timeline and you can go along and hit S on here, S on there. And we can come in and adjust these a little bit more later on. So we're going to want to make sure that our audio clip is long enough for 11 pages. So I've done that. And apart from this first clip, which is just over a little bit of 0.6 seconds, we can see the beat changes on this particular audio every 0.6 seconds. Now I'm just going to use stock video on this from Canva, but obviously you'll be uploading your own video footage to your upload section. So page one, there's nothing we need to do on page one. On page two, we're just going to come up and we're going to delete one of the color blocks. Now I'm going to click the top one and delete the top one first. So we can see what that's doing is on the beat, it's now going to reveal that actual frame underneath. Then next we're going to want to come along to page three and we're going to want to delete the next one on that. I'm going to delete the bottom one. And obviously what we want to do is we want to make sure that we also delete the top one. Then on the page four, we're going to come along and we're going to actually delete all three of those items. So let me play that back for you and it'll become apparent as to what we're actually doing. So you can see on the beat there each time it's revealing those frames. Now all you will do is come in and start adding in your video footage that you want to use in these clips. Now there is a little bit of a kind of like a way that you need to be aware of when you're adding your video clips. So let's dive in and let me show you. So here we are, we're in page two. Now if I come down to video, and I'm just gonna click one of the video footages that I've chosen. We're gonna choose this chap here. I'm gonna drag and click that over. Now you can see when I drag that over, it changes the length of that clip. Now you can lock the length of the clip, but you then can't choose the section of the video that you want inside that clip. That's part of the problem with um, with the way we're doing this is because we want that video to play across across three pages before it changes again. We want to be able to choose the length of the clip because otherwise each time the page changes is just going to play from the beginning of the video or from the beginning of the video. So we're going to come on to page three and we're going to choose the same chap again and going to zoom that down to 0.6 seconds and then on page four we're going to put the same chap in here again and again we're going to bring that down to 0.6 seconds now you can probably do this with element timing but i find this is the cleanest easiest way to do this because i can see what's actually going in on the timeline there so what i want to do is i want to come in and this first clip plays for 0.6 seconds the second time if I click on this, I can come and I can choose the next part. So I want the next part or this particular part to be 0.6 seconds, but to start from 0.7. So we're going to go up to 1.2 seconds and then drag the end in 
so it actually shows 0 0.6 seconds so now we can see that that's actually going to play continuously so it's going to play the first part in the first video clip then this part and then in the third one we're going to come over select this and we're going to come over to 1.8 which is 0 0.6 times 3 and we're going to come up and bring that side up to 0 0.6 now as this video clip plays across those three video clips it's going to look like it's seamless let me show you so you can see there the actual video clip looks like it's just seamless it's just a guy sat there thinking about what he's going to be doing for work and that's kind of where i was going at with this particular template is it's kind of a group of team of people working on things and then they come and they have a team meeting. That's that's what we've got with this particular template. You could have this if you were a food blogger of different courses and things like that. And then at the end of the night, it's you dancing away and or something else like that. Maybe singing karaoke. I know what you travel people are like out there. <laughs> so all we're going to do is we're going to come along and on the rest of this video clip, we're going to delete off the blocks of color. Now, one thing to note, because we're using 11 pages, I don't know why I'm doing that for 11, but that's now, that's now 11. But because this is 11 pages, page 11 is gonna be the reveal of the final one. So pages eight, nine, and 10 are gonna be building up to that. And then page 11 will reveal the full page. Now on page eight, we're gonna start the reveal. So I'm just gonna add some text on here to say start final reveal so that's just reminding us that on page eight we want to start the final reveal so what we're going to do is we're going to come on to the rest of these and we're going to start adding in some video clips so i'm going to go and do that and then come back to you now i've gone in and i've added in there all my images and my all my video clips whatever it is that you want to show let me show you the grid view so you can see what this looks like so you can see page one is all these then you've got this element changes on page two, three, and four. And you can see what it looks like. Pause the video here, take a screenshot, because pages eight, nine, 10, and 11 is where we're gonna work on next. So on page eight, this is where we wanna start our final reveal, which is gonna be full length video clip. So we want that to take up the full screen. So what we're gonna to need to do is highlight this and actually drag that grid down so it fills the background. So what we're gonna be able to do now is drag our video on there and position it as we want to. And that's actually going to then allow us to reveal the full image. So let's do that. I'm gonna delete the text off there. Now, if I come in and I want to add in, say, let's say this clip, I'm gonna add in this clip here. And this is gonna be the start of the final reveal. Now I'm still gonna want this to be 0 0.6 seconds at the moment. The final one, when we have the final reveal, you can have that to be a little bit longer if you want to. And it does depend on the beat and your music and how often your music beats. And then we're going to want to do a similar thing on page nine, drag and hide, bring that frame all the way down. And we're gonna to want to again, add the same video clip. So it was this one, I'm just gonna bring that over change it back down to 0 0.6 seconds and on that one because we want to reveal the next section we're going to delete this frame and you can see there now we've got the top part and the bottom part revealed in the final clip so on page 10 can you guess what we're going to do on page 10 we're going to gra drag that one down drag it all the way down here then delete these other frames that will be covering it and we want to then drag our final video clip. So again, we want this one to be down to 0 0.6 seconds. So on page 11, this is where we're now going to animate those bars off. Now I do have another video on the animation and using this technique, which is using the borders. So if you wanna watch that video, I'll link that up here and also down in the description below. So because we're using the same video clip, I'm gonna bring that over and you can see that now still looks similar to what it did beforehand. I'm gonna bring that in. We're gonna make our video or our music go on a little bit longer. It does depend how long you wanna show this for. It's totally up to you. I've changed it to five seconds there. But what we're gonna to want to do, or well, the main focus on page 11 now, is to actually animate these bars off. So 
In order to animate these off, we're going to come over to Animate, Create Custom Animation, and we're going to click and hold down the Shift key, because it holding down the Shift key, you'll see it here, what, uh, creates a straight line. So we're going to hold down the Shift key, grab this, and then drag that off to the side in one swift movement. Hopefully that was straight. It wasn't quite straight, so I'm going to click Undo, hold down the Shift key, for some reason it dropped. So there we go, hold down the shift key and that's going to drag that bar off to the side and we can click on smooth to make sure that the path is smooth and we can change the speed of that as well so we can be quicker or we can be slower if we want to. But we'll come on to that bit again in a moment, so click done on that one. Now we want this one to animate off in the opposite direction. So you're going to come over, click animate, create your animation, hold down the shift key, grab the line here and drag that off to the side try and do it in the same kind of speed that you were beforehand and you'll see that that's now going to need to be a little bit faster maybe a little bit slower but you can play about with these and make sure that they match up a little bit more when you're doing your video but we're going to click done Hope you have fun playing about with this technique inside of Canva, creating your own animations, creating your own kind of video ideas of what you can create inside of Canva and come up with something funky. So until next time, bye for now.